Hi everybody, Big Bong here and welcome back to another review. Today I'll be learning a language on a platform I already reviewed a couple of months ago called LingoPie. Back then I was using it on my laptop, but this time I'll be showing it to you on my smartphone. So let me start by introducing the concept once again. It's a video on demand platform with a large variety of movies and TV shows, but unlike other platforms that only provide subtitles, this one is really made for people like you and me who want to learn languages. I'll tell you why in a moment, but before that, if you want to try it simultaneously with me, LingoPie offers a 7 day free trial. So why not download it right now? Plus, if you click on the link in the description, you'll get a special discount. Alright, so if we're all set, then let's learn some languages. When I reviewed it earlier this year, the only languages available were Spanish and Russian. But now they've also added French, Portuguese, German and Italian. And I know for a fact that they're also working to add Japanese, Chinese and Turkish. So I've just launched the app and here is my homepage with my progression at the very top. I'm currently level 2 and soon level 3 as my experience bar is almost full. Below that we can see the watch time in minutes, the words I've clicked on in the subtitles and the words I learned on flashcards. Then there is the list of shows I'm currently watching and down below all the content available on the platform organized by categories. What's really awesome is that one of the first things you'll see is the flag of the country where the movie was made. That's very useful because as you know, Spanish for example is a language that has very different accents and dialects depending on where you are in the world. And if you're planning a trip to Spain, you might want to watch some Spanish content. But if you're going to Argentina, it's a completely different accent, so it really depends on your preferences. Before we start, let me show you briefly how the app works. So you can see the subtitles in the target language. I don't need the English one because I'm comfortable enough in Spanish, but just so you know you can turn it on or off. Now if you don't know a word, you can simply click on it and get an instant translation. Obviously you can click on the sound icon to hear the word. Una vueltica. That's very useful, because sometimes when actors naturally speak, uh, they don't necessarily pronounce all the words, you know, and there are contractions, and also because of the ambient sound. For that, you can also play with the speed by slowing it down to make it easier to understand. Sí, Magnolia, pues está temprano. Alright, let's get down to business. So, one of the most successful methods to learn a language according to my personal priorities as a learner who wants to speak is called shadowing. Actually, some of you might have unconsciously done it as a kid. When you know a movie by heart and you speak as the character says the line, that's shadowing. I might go to Mexico soon and so not only did I choose something that was in Mexican Spanish, but it's a travel vlog so it could also help me learn words and expressions used in that setting. Alright, so let's see how it starts. Muy buenos días. Hoy toca otra vez cruce de fronteras. Vamos a cruzar en dos días dos fronteras que son la de Nicaragua hacia Honduras y la de Honduras al Salvador. He's got a very nice soothing voice. So, muy buenos días. A very good day. Hoy, today. Toca, toca is to touch, uh, but in this context is to touch a subject, to talk about a subject. Otra vez, once again. Cruce de fronteras, uh, crossing the border. Vamos a cruzar en dos días, dos fronteras. So, vamos a cruzar, uh, we'll cross en dos días, in two days, dos fronteras, two borders. ¿Qué son la de Nicaragua hacia Honduras? So, from Nicaragua to Honduras and from Honduras to Salvador. Now, if I try to shadow that, it's going to sound like Muy buenos días. Hoy toca otra vez cruce de fronteras. Vamos a cruzar en dos días dos fronteras, que son la de Nicaragua hacia Honduras y la de Honduras al Salvador. LingoPie encourages its users to review the list of words after an episode or a movie. Alright, so I've just watched a Colombian movie called La Selección. And let's review the words I learned. El campeonato, so the championship. Here we go, I know. Pereza. Usted si sí cosa que pereza hay. Uh, I don't know that one. Laziness, pereza. Oh, it's close to the French paresse. A little ride, una vueltica. Finally, you shouldn't be out of content because there are new movies and TV shows added to the catalog every week. So if you haven't done it yet, download it, guys. Again, there's a seven day free trial. Please let me know if this video was helpful to you with a thumbs up and feel free to share it to anyone who might be interested. Don't forget to subscribe to support this channel and I'll see you very soon for more entertaining videos. Bye.